Hey there, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia Dawn of a New World Live. We are Damiel SC. The last time we went ahead and got back to the village, we got Regal out of prison. I swear he said he was going back to the inn to change. And he is definitely not currently here. Because this is the inn. So, I'm a, I'm a little confused about where he went, um, but we did get him out of jail. We cured his friend. His friend went and said, yeah, this dude totally does not have... Okay, he don't, he has mystical powers, but he's not... He's not here either. You know anything? Nope. You're just thanking me for doing stuff. I'm, just, I'm sure if I wander around town, I will run into him, because obviously that's not the end of uh, Regal's storyline. But... Yeah, it's like, uh, well, Regal does have mystical powers, he, he, he didn't, he didn't cause this. Aha, there we go. What is it? You want to hear more about the fire? I want to hear everything. Yes, please. So Regal and I were talking, and suddenly this bright ball of light appeared in front of us. And that was from the light frog? What, oh jeez, I was going—I was going to be like Nas Dream, but I can't remember what it's actually called. Yeah, a lit up frog. It was really bright, and Regal passed out almost as soon as he saw it. Regal's afraid of frogs. I was wearing sunglasses, so I was okay at first. It started giving off light as soon as it appeared. That's a bit it's odd. A, it's a very, very, very aggressive light frog. I'm telling you the truth. Then it started to eat my seafood gels, and flames started shooting all over the place. I thought maybe I could put it out somehow, so I swung at it with my hand. But then I felt really weak. I tried to touch the fire, because that seemed like the most appropriate thing to do. Sir, you're just dumb. You must have touched its poison when you hit the light frog. So, you can get poisoned just by touching it? Oh man, that's some frog. That is. We had to, we had to work pretty hard to get you back here, sir. I expect some seafood gels. I had no idea the Nasdrovia poison could be that. Nasdrovia, that's what it was. It's called the light frog. Right. The Nasdrovia doesn't usually knock people out for that long. I believe you mean the light frog. Maybe the Nasdrovia <laughs> strengthened its defenses when Berg struck it, resulting in a stronger poison. Light frog! All the more reason to be extra careful around all monsters, not just the Nosdrovie. Fine. I see how it is. I get it. Tenebrae. Part of me wondered if he was, like, legitimately confused because we, we changed terms on him. So, where is Regal? Regal! Are you in here, Regal? You are not. Maybe I have to talk to Berg, and now Regal will be back at the end. Because I definitely don't see him anywhere. I still... I prefer Regal to Regal for his name. Just because it, it just seems so... Holy... Okay. Yeah, that... Y y you cleaned up good, sir. Damn. I was starting to get worried for a moment. Thank you for helping me. It is extra petrifying that you are wearing weights on your legs now. I never imagined we would run into each other again in this manner. Did you come here looking for Lloyd? Wait, you know where Lloyd went? And just who are you? Wow, you're very suspicious and... I guess, I, I guess Regal is just straightforward. Ah, uh, yes. Things have gotten rather complicated. Why don't we give you the basic rundown? Tenebi, come out, will you? <laughs> She's calling him Tenebi as well. That's terrible. It's Tenebrae. I can't believe Lloyd would keep secrets like that from us. First Ratatosk, then the Centurion's cores. Yeah, I do. I, I, I'm very curious to know what Lloyd's actual reason is, because it, it seems very obvious he's somewhat ashamed of what he's doing, because he's not even he's not telling anyone. We know for a fact that Colette, Rain, Genesis, and now Regal did not know anything about it. So unless he's confiding in Sheena, um, or per Persea, I can't imagine confiding in Persea. Maybe Sheena. Just like with the summoned spirits and the angels, we seem to be bound by fate to things of this nature. Oh, I completely forgot we've also run into Zelos. 
So, um, what about Lloyd? From what I heard from Berg, Lloyd is headed for Flanor. Apparently, it was very recent. Rain! We might be able to catch up with him after all. If I may be so bold, I too am concerned about Lloyd. Would it be too much to ask that I accompany you on your journey? Um, I'm running out of space for my party. I'm sure Rain and I wouldn't mind. What about Marta and Emil? Oh, we get an opinion? I'm fine with that. Dude, if you're kicking with, like, gauntlets and feet now, come on. By all means. We probably won't be of much help, but if you're okay with that, what about you, Tenebrae? I will follow whatever course you and Lady Marta choose. Thank you. On the name of my eternal beloved, I swear that I shall not betray you. Well then, shall we depart? No comment about that. What is it, Emil? No, it's nothing. It is a little bit awkward to think that we are moving towards an eventual confrontation with Lloyd that when we're going to be surrounded by Lloyd's best friends. This could go very bad for us very quickly depending on exactly what happens. Especially if I go like Ratatos mode and just try and attack Lloyd. Because that would that would not be a good 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 moment for me. Okay, so Yeah, I mean I'm not taking Marta out. Marta needs the experience. And if I have an option, then I'm going to use I'm gonna let Regal or Regal or replace Genis. Alright. We can get on the boat. I hope we're doing the right thing. Emil? Is something troubling you? Emil, come on! <sighs> What's Lloyd Irving doing over there? What? Where? Show yourself, Lloyd! I don't believe the problem is with his hearing. What's wrong with him? That's this is the first time they show him like Ratatos mode as being a little bit dumb. I never imagined we would be reunited under these circumstances. And we never expected to find you behind bars again. I know, seriously. I thought for sure you'd be busy issuing orders from Lazareno HQ. In addition to my duties as president, I'm also working as chairman on the board of a startup company. Really? We're doing what? to develop this new business mainly in Silverant. I was traveling around to get a feel for the market. What does mainly in Silverant oh, mean? that's right. Even though it's a Tetha Ala based company, Lazareno is popular with Silveranti. The efforts they invested into rebuilding Palma Costa must be playing a big role. Many Tetha Alans continue to treat Silveranti like savages. If my company can help change that way of thinking, it will have served its purpose. But thanks to the conflict with Tetha Ala, half elves aren't persecuted as much as they used to be. Yes. Half elves have become valued for their knowledge. Yay! The overall situation is unfortunate. It is a little bit interesting that they have a scene like this that's playing out looks like that doesn't involve the plot or the main characters at all. Dealt with. But our problem right now is Lloyd. Yes. I wonder what he's up to right now. Okay, so can I go to tree it yet? Because people did say that the next... You you can't do um, the next part of the um, Richter's mission until you would be leaving. It's actually interesting. Some people say whenever you finish up with um, Isolde, and we're now trying to get onto the boat. Um, and other people said when you whenever you go to tree it naturally, you just like leave again. I'm not seeing anything here, so maybe we're not done with Azul yet. Maybe maybe they actually mean you're supposed to leave and then walk back to Treat, which seems silly. Get on a boat and then walk to Treat, but whatever. I guess I should actually check the end real quick. Nope, nothing happening here. Cool, cool. I'd probably do a little bit more of an in-depth search for something here, except for the fact that, like I said, I had two pieces of advice. One just said, you know, wait until you're done with Azul, but the other one did say the next time you go to tree it. So, I know that this is not necessarily time-sensitive, if that makes sense. To Flanor. To the end to save, then to Flanor. 
Not that I fought anything, and it w I wouldn't actually lose too much if I happened to get defeated in battle, but... Y anytime you're gonna get on a boat in an RPG, there, there's, there's an entirely too large of a chance you're gonna run into, like, a boss, um, like, on the open sea or something. That's kind of a trope of RPGs, so let's, yeah, let's save. Alright, Boating McBoatface. No boarding for Flanor! I thought that said no boarding, and I was like, God damn it, what? What's the matter? You look worried. This guy looks more stylish than I do. You're gonna leave me. Um. The boat's about to leave. Well, you see. Hey, what about the light frog? Speak up! Alright. I'm still worried about the fire. The light frog could appear again while we're out looking for Lloyd. That would mean the fires won't stop. Yes, that's certainly true. Though the light frog shouldn't produce enough heat to start fires, except under extraordinary circumstances. There's obviously an extraordinary light frog. But the fires in town have been going on for a while, so these extraordinary circumstances must be happening. Perhaps it's another side effect of a dormant centurion's core. As its vulgar human name would suggest, the light frog is a light elemental monster, and the core of centurion of light is... Oh, right. Lloyd has Lumen's core. So I wonder if this happened just when Lloyd passed through town. Exactly. Therefore, the only way that we can resolve this problem is by finding Lloyd and hatching Lumen's core. Then we must hurry and go after Lloyd. But I'm worried about what'll happen if we just leave the town without doing anything. Well, if this happened because Lloyd passed through town... You said so yourself, Rain. As long as there's a chance, you have to pursue it. So you're saying that you'd like to look for a way to control the Light Frog's incendiary tendencies. Now that we've explained the situation to the people in town, I'm pretty sure things should be fine for a while. How about this? Rain, you and Genus can go on ahead to Flanor and find out what you can about Lloyd. We'll stay here and try to settle this whole Light Frog conundrum. Okay, I wonder what they would do is I'm like, we're just collecting too many people. All right, that should be fine. The ship bound for Flanor is departing. All aboard! Emil, Marta, see you soon. You too, Tenebi. Take care of yourselves. Why is he out in the open? I do hope you'll call me Tenebre the next time we meet. Rain, thank you. See you later, Genus. Good luck, guys. See ya. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to give this to you, Regal. What is it? <laughs> I guess you could say it's a love letter. What? Where did this come from? Do I want to know? Rain? Wow, she's so bold. I better learn from her example. I'm guessing that's not from Rain. That doesn't make any sense. Read it later when you're alone. Don't show it to anyone else. Oh, I've got... what? what? I never thought I'd receive such a gift from someone as beautiful as you. I will protect it with my life. I am so confused right now, guys. This can't be happening. What if Regal becomes my brother-in-law? You'll have a lot of manning up to do. So first off, shall we check out all the places in town where fire had broken out? Let's do it. Yes. You seem so mature. Well, he's yeah. what in his thirties? Incredibly polite, kind, and strong too. We're not all that dissimilar. Our only difference is I've been alive a little longer. You would do well to follow his example, Emmy. That's actually true. Regal's amazing. You're one to talk, Tenebrae. You've been around way longer than Regal, and all you do is nag and complain. Yes, yes, I'm an old fogey. I know. <laughs> okay, well. Here's a place where the fire was, but I can't do anything here. Hey, um, Regal? What is it, Marta? Um, so you know that letter Rain gave you? I mean, was it really about, you know, 
<laughs> I hardly think it would be at all proper to reveal its contents. Rain, like all women, is entirely I love the way he's handling that. Private. private secrets? Like a confession of her love for you? <laughs> I'll leave that to your imagination. Oh my gosh, no, I have to read it. No. <laughs> Not for you. Oh, I really want to read it too. Can I? Can can, I, can, can, can Rico become the main character? So they say check out all the places in town where fire broke out, and, but apparently they don't mean it because there's a bunch of places where fire broke out, and going to them is not doing a dang thing. So I'm guessing that must mean that there's a very specific place I'm supposed to find. Dogs dogs join the blade with huge loss. A lot of stuff, you name it. Bottles, gels, big shipment of seafood gels just came in. Yeah, I was gonna say it's, it's the seafood gels that are doing it. So I guess it's actually more about just talking to everyone, I think. Wait, what? He burned the recipe? Holy crap, he's obsessed. I don't know why the uh, light frog is a he now, but it is. That was Juvier, that's what it was. So, very obvious, I mean, we, we kind of get it by now. There seem to be plenty of clues, actually. So we just need a seafood gel in order to get the frog to come out. Okay, here we go. So the cargo was loaded and the ship was burned. Apple, orange, seafood, every type of gel you can think of. Our policy covers this, so we'll survive, but Lazaro insurance is pretty cheap. We're full of Lazaro insurance? But maybe the insurance cut. Lazaro is fantastic. Life insurance will cover you until the age of 108. You can't get that just anywhere. It appears we've seen all the fire sites now. However, none of the locations are places you'd expect to find a light frog. Nope, they're all places that would involve a seafood gel. Even the recipe, there the recipe be surprises some me. Thread tying them together. Gels. It's gels. Kind of wish they made it a little bit more, you know, or a little bit less obvious. Because this is just like, well, of course, duh. Gels? That's what all the fire sites have in common. Seafood gels. Don't be ridiculous. Who ever heard of a light frog with an appetite for gels? I have, just now. But Emil's right. All of the fires happened in places where seafood gels were being stored. Now see here, I am a centurion. I am an expert on monster behavior. Yeah, but how much do you really know about light frogs? You're a dark, you're darkness incarnate. I guess you're right, but... Quit it, Tenebrae. You're only the centurion of darkness. What the hell would you know about a light elemental monster like the light frog? But... Quiet! It's time to put our theory to the test. Let's go! Man, Rattatoss is coming out even when there's no battle to be done now. Go where? To get some seafood gels from Bird. We'll use them to lure the light frog out of hiding. So this is the Ratatosk mode that Rain was talking about. Hmm. Suppose I should see how things play Suppose out. Suppose you should. So the question is, where did Bird go? Bird, 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 Bird. Berg's a word. Ba -ba -ba -berg, berg, 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 berg. He's not still in the prison. As he was outside in front of the prison before. I don't know where he went now. But he's not in here. Where are you, little twerp? They didn't mention that he was missing earlier. 
You're not Berg, are you? I don't think I don't think this is Berg. Well, that was a foolish investment. Let me check inside the building. I keep checking this building and there's never anything in it. Nope. The background music for this town is just sad. You, you, you feel a sense of forlornness and loss. Forlornitude? Aha! What? You think seafood gels attract the light frog? <laughs> don't be stupid. What do you know? We'll never know if we don't try. So just hand over the damn gels. Jeez, what happened to you? It's like you're a completely different person. A little bit. Our apologies. I'm afraid he's a bit on edge today. Well, I wouldn't mind giving you some, only all of my seafood gels burned up in the fire. Then please make some more for us. Sure, if you'll bring me the ingredients. Of course. What do you mean? I'm all out of jellyfish. I need to go to Triant to catch some more. But I won't be heading there anytime soon. After everything that's happened, I need a okay. few days rest. So, what do you so want to do? Some jelly jellyfish. Go and get some jellyfish, of course. Well then, you better take some of this with you. It's the only bait the jellyfish really respond to. Special bait. It's special. Okay, and here we go to Triet. Legit. So this is what people were talking about earlier. Regal, can I ask you something? Sure. What's on your mind? I want to know what makes men tick. Guys are always rejecting me, saying I'm annoying or too serious or whatever. <laughs> Any man who would say such things is not worthy of your time. You are a charming young lady. But I cannot claim to be much of a strategist, but I have learned that oh my sometimes gosh. it may be better to pull back when being assertive doesn't work. Pull back. However, if your question has anything to do with a meal, then Okay, I've got it. I'll start with the pulling. Cut it out, Marta. Why are you yanking on my arm all of a sudden? <sighs> oh my god, really? Everyone in this game has their moments of being a flippin' idiot. Waka, 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 runna, runna! <laughs> okay, so first we get jellyfish, and then we get Richter. Fishing. It's been a while. <laughs> Do you fish? Yes, every now and then I take the yacht out for marlin fishing. Wow, it must be great being the president of Lazareno. Well, yeah, I, I do. That's one of the things I really respect about Regal, actually, is that he has a lot of money, he's very well to do, but he doesn't. He, he, he you know, it, it, the game does a very good job. I spent, well, Symphony did a great job of showing. Regal and Zelos were in the same world and almost in the same position in the point where they were like incredibly privileged and got to live a life of luxury. But Regal refused to and Zelos didn't. And I, I, I like that contrast. Marta, do you prefer rich guys like Regal? What do you mean? Emil, please. I believe your petty jealousies can wait until after we've caught some jellyfish. What? No, I didn't... What? I know you're uncomfortable witnessing the first female interested in you complimenting another man. <laughs> Tenebrae is such a troll. No, you've got it all wrong. That's not what I meant. And you, do you, do you have a crush on me? No, I didn't say anything like that. Come on, Tenebrae, cut it out. Yes, yes, understood. Oh, just a minute, man. It didn't. It didn't ask me what beta was. That was amazing. Was it? It seemed pretty normal to me. Thank you. Hey, Emil. About what you said earlier. Never mind about that. It wasn't anything important at all. We're staying around the wrong hole, though. We were different around the heart hole a second ago. 
not important at all? Oh, I see. Uh, I'm sorry. That is such a not storyline that I want to pursue. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think I have a choice. I think I'm going to have to pursue it, but... There we go. I saw it come up right as I was leaving. quite a catch. No marlin I've ever caught can compare. It certainly was enormous. For a moment, I believed I might snap in too. Fishing is really more fun than I thought it would be. I'd like to try it again sometime. I shall be happy to give you some lessons. Ocean fishing is enjoyable to be sure, but you simply must experience stream fishing. I've never been much of a fisherman. That would be great. You almost sound like you could be my father, Regal. Your father? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean... Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome to the Old Fogey Club. <laughs> Alright, here we are. In theory. What's going on over there? The fortune teller at the Oasis is giving free readings! Everyone's lining up for tickets! Let's have her predict about our love. Uh, it's not really my thing. No, you have to go. Aw, come on. If you want to go, I'll wait for you. Really? I'll go get a ticket then. Well, uh, okay, it's for giving out free tickets, so yeah, you can get a ticket. Never mind. A monster in the middle of town? It appears to be one of Aqua's servants. Aqua has servants. <laughs> it's a message from Aqua. Richter wishes to see you. He does? He's at the inn. What will you do? I'd like to see Richter. I like how he's thinking instead of speaking. I guess it is Tenebrae. It looks like it'll take a while to get a ticket. Is that okay? Uh, then would you mind if I took a walk around town in the meantime? Not at all. I'll meet you back by the shape of the chosen, okay? <laughs> sure. All right, here we go into this quest. I don't know that we'll really have time to do it, but it's certainly worth beginning. Uh, I don't think I had red hair that might actually be Richter, like in disguise. Downstairs. I bet he's in here, actually. I keep forgetting there's a room downstairs. Yep, there we go. So you came. If you were here, why did Aqua send out a servant instead of just going out there herself? You wanted to see me? I heard Aqua asked you to come to Triet. Normally, I would never stoop to asking for help from an enemy, but I need your assistance. It must be convenient to have such a flexible philosophy. <laughs> I love Tenebrae. <laughs> Shut up, Tenna Bonehead! Master Richter isn't asking you! What do you need me to do? I understand that you found some rosemary inside the Camberto Caves. I did indeed. Uh, yes. I'd like you to take me there. Okay, but why? I'm looking for an insect that lives on the rosemary plant. So you're a bug collector now? Indeed. It is a fascinating hobby. Oh, uh... It was a joke. Let's go. Not much of a comedian, is he? No, but he, I still like him. He, like I said, he, he's a red jade. <laughs> oh, I guess we're going. The last time I was here, the rosemary was all withered. We only managed to find one plant still alive. Is that so? I didn't see any. I'll show you where it was. Yes, thank you. Yeah, get, get our really strong monster in here. So... I'm sorry for using you as a guide, even though I insist we're enemies. <gasps> What's with that face? Nothing, it's just... I don't think I've ever heard you apologize before. I suppose that's true. I can't recall apologizing to anyone but you recently. What? 
I'm just kidding. Wow, I guess you really are perfect. I hope I can be like that someday. I meant that as a joke. <laughs> There are herbs all over the place. Do you dislike herbs? No, I quite enjoy them, actually. Oh, he's oh. a okay, stoner. Then. I'll try to like them, too. There's no need to match my taste. There's nothing I despise more than someone with no individuality. Oh, well, then I'll go on hating herbs. Emile, that's exactly what he's talking about. Oh. All right, so I will see you when we get there, because like I said, we're basically at 30 minutes, and there's no reason to watch, have you watch me fight this. Well, I guess it depends. I assume. Thank you. So basically forever for you to get around it's to actually using that. It's over. Won't work. leading Emil out here. I just needed someone to show me the way. Emil is not him, you know. I am well aware of that. Are you? I see the hesitation in your eyes when you look at him. Emil is Emil. Yes, that is correct. Interesting. I wonder who him is. Obviously, Emil reminds um, Richter of someone Richter knew when um, Richter was younger. Robin. Hey, don't you train? Not really. I enter Ratatosk mode when I fight, so... Stop depending on that. Fight with your own strength. But I can't. Yes, you can. Learn to defend yourself at a moment's notice. Don't get cocky just because you've got a special power. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. That was too harsh. Look, I'll teach you how to fight. So stop looking I so th pitiful. I think the problem okay. is Emil le you. legit can't. If he get threatened, Ratatosk mode starts. It's not even like Emil could fight if he wanted to. Emil, food's ready. Thank you very much. Go ahead and eat it if you can. That sounds pretty ominous. It looks normal enough, though. Let me give it a try. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mom, wait for me. I'll be joining you shortly. <laughs> hmm. I was afraid of that. This is the first time I've ever cooked. Well, what do you normally eat? Or do you... Is Richter, um, a ghost? Ghost Richter. <laughs> I kind of love Aqua. It's this deep in? Yes, it's at the far end of the cave. You saw all these dead plants and you still had the resolve to search all the way to the end of the cave. Impressive. Well, I had Marta and everyone with me, so... I see. What's the insect you're looking for? It's called the Angel Atops. I'm looking for its shell. Interesting. A shell? Tell me about it, Tenebrae. When the angel atops changes from a larva to an adult, it leaves behind a shell. This shell resembles a crucius angel, so the Church of Martell uses it as a talisman. So why do you need to find it? Because I need a talisman. That doesn't concern you. Of course it concerns me. I'm the one showing you the way, aren't I? I I'm sorry. No, stand up for yourself, man. No, you make a good point. I plan to give the shell to a woman named Phydra in Asalia in exchange for her spiritual apocrypha. Are you getting that for Norton as well? Aqua, what else did you say? F forgive me, Master Richter. 
My, my, look at the faithful servant now. And I pray. Quiet, you! Why don't you take a long walk off a short cliff? Spiteful ten of bonehead! Centurions, that is enough. Emil, I hope you'll stay with me a bit longer. Oh, you actually don't need him anymore. Sure. You notice at the end of the cave. And I will fight this boss, because I'm right here. Um... Because it's just, it just it seems like a good a good thing to do to cap off the episode. So we only had one fight, and that one maybe even cut out. Damn All it! All right, well, that was annoying. You continue to be screwed. I'm really worried. Are you referring to Lady Marta waiting in Triet? Yeah. There were plenty of people waiting to have their fortunes told. We should have time. It's not that. If she gets a bad fortune, I just know she's going to grill the fortune teller with tons of questions. And even if her fortune's good, it's only going to end up encouraging her. <laughs> Seems you've come to know Lady Marta quite well. That is quite you've true. You've come to know that laugh of yours pretty well, too. Oh, no, it's up there. The spiritual tome and the spiritual apocrypha, do they both have the same kind of stuff written in them? This book is about spiritua. When the world was still split in two, she was the most famous of all the Tetha Alan angels. I even heard Spiritua was once the Chosen of Silverant. Is it true? I... Uh, yes? History is not Emil's strong suit. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't study as much as I should have. Well, it's not exactly essential for everyday life. You know a lot about history and all sorts of other stuff. That's really cool. That's all they ever let me do. What do you mean? I mean, forget it. It was meaningless research. I wonder who I they is. I am glad we're getting these, like slight little snippets of Richter's past. So I, I have been wondering about him. This is the place. All right, let's dig here. All right. Dig. Thank you. If we hadn't found any rosemary here, I'd be forced to start my search all over again. I guess good fortune comes to good people. Was that sarcasm? <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> you got me there. What? Why are you all so shocked? Because you laughed. You don't do that. You laughed? Of course I laugh sometimes. What do you think I am? Jade. Master Richter, your laugh is so dreamy. God, it must be very bad to have Marta be your, like, servant as well. Of course, it's nothing compared to my handsome chortle. I'm about this close to killing you. Anyway, you're taking that to Asalia, right? Yes. I'll go with you. No thanks. Why can't I go? I think I have a right to see this through to we the end. We kind of have to get back, Emil. Hmm. <laughs> Do as you like. I will. Oh, I feared there'd be a boss fight. There is not. Where does Phydra live? I thought you'd know. Huh? Phydra is the Chosen Colette's grandmother. She lives in the Chosen's old home. Colette's grandmother? Let's go. Okay, well, at this point, I really thought there'd be a boss fight there. I, yeah, I guess let's go and turn it in real quick. I don't, I don't know how much time we're at, because I'm going to cut out some of those fights, but I don't know necessarily about all of them, because we ended up, um, you know, not having a boss fight like I was expecting. We don't know anything about the attack on Lewin. You expect me to believe that? The leader of the attack said the name Lloyd Irving himself. Hi, Alba. You can't deny the fact that our town was attacked by those in the service of the Church of Martell. The church has to compensate us for our losses. Uncle Abba. Y you Don't run from him. Now there's a real monster. Uh, uh. What, what is it? You want to kill me, do you? No. Who took you in and fed you, boy? This is actually a really interesting scene. <laughs> I didn't come here to see your wretched face. You're nothing but a plague on us all. How can you say such things? Mind your own damn business. Anyway, think about what I said. Why are you harassing them anyway? They're not even part of the Church of Martell, as far as I know. I guess she... 
silent as usual? I... Don't want to rock the boat, hmm? But if you just shy away every time and never stand up for yourself, nothing will ever change. That is very true. I hope there's more of Richard's quest. I want to see a resolution to this, but they can't have a resolution to this. Well, I guess they still could. This scene is not necessary for Emil to eventually stand up to his uncle. You're no better than a dog on a leash. I'm not... I'm not a dog. I'm not the one you need to tell that to. <laughs> as long as you waste your time worrying about making others angry, your life will always be this way. If you don't speak up, nothing will change. Then again, if you don't mind being treated like a monster, feel free to ignore me. Richter, not everyone can live the way that you do. <laughs> but everyone should. Many people in this world must make compromises to get by. Compromises? He's not making compromises with the world, he's rejecting This it. is really... I'm so glad that you guys had me do this quest, because this is really shining a light on Emil and Emil's past and Richter's outlook on life. Retreating into his shell and playing the victim is what makes him feel safe. But that's not living. It's just wasting away until you die. I see you haven't changed a bit. So, does your visit mean you found the item we discussed? Yes, I brought the angel atop shell. You did indeed. Here is the spiritual apocrypha. That's a very odd trait. Give me a shell from an insect and I'll give you a like priceless artifact. I heard that a member of the vanguard named Hawk has the deep sea scroll you seek. Thanks for the information. I'll take you as far as Triot. Okay. Man! You should be able to find your way back from here. Thanks for your help. Wait! What is it? I, I've always been afraid of my uncle. I don't know why. I mean, was, was he... Uh, he was probably abusive. We haven't seen it, but that would make sense. And I still am. And not just him. Everyone in Luin, too. That's not my problem. But, from what I could tell, Alba seemed to be afraid of you, too. That was because I used Ratatosk's power back in Luin. He's feared you long before you ever made your pact with Ratatosk, for as long as you feared him. Does he actually think that I'm the reason that Palma Costa got attacked? That's not possible! Uncle Alba's always screaming at me, and... The smaller the dog, the louder the bark. Uncle Alba's... Weak? His actions mirror your own. You were afraid and retreated into your shell, so he did the same. You both do what comes easiest, but that won't change anything. I was the same Interesting. Once. You were afraid too? What were you afraid of? Humans. So I avoided and ignored them. But then, someone taught me that nothing would ever change if I stayed there. I feel that like way. he may be the same thing that, um... I mean, he's obviously not human, and Aqua serves him, but he's not a spiritual creature. He may... is he an elf? Who taught you? Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. A friend, a foolish, naive friend with a few screws loose, taught me that. Courage is also what you need to break out of your shell. That's how you got Marta to join you. She opened up to you because you risked your life to protect her. But Marta's so easy to talk to. And so unquestionably devoted. You think I'm easy to talk to as well? Get yourself together, Emil. You already know exactly what you need to break out of your shell. Courage? That's right. This quest was amazing. Alright. Yeah, I was like, don't have me... I'm glad that I get to save, because I definitely need to end this episode. <laughs> um, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for tuning in. Oh my gosh, this... It's weird that they would put something like this as a side quest, because it's so easy to miss, but it is so rewarding and gives you so much insight into a meal. Insight that you desperately need to play this game. Anyway, I will see you all in the next one.